in Jammu Kashmir, where people looking for oxygen bed faced any hurdle. I personally work with the diverse departments for future mitigation strategies to ensure citizens of Jammu Kashmir have access to better health services to the greatest extent possible. We also took a decision to de decentralize the community health care by setting up a five-bedded COVID care center in every panchayat of the union territory as many households may not have the option for isolation of COVID positive patients in their own residence. Each panchayat COVID care center now has one oxygen supported bed for immediate patient care. Jammu Kashmir began COVID-19 vaccination planning in advance as per guidelines issued by the Government of India. For equitable access, we have involved diverse collaborators, partnered with influencers and religious leaders for community education and confidence building. In order to prioritize the allocation, the UT Humanization Department prepared a data-enabled solution for the targeted group. The strategic in intervention enabled us to successfully vaccinate more than 98% population in the priority groups with the first dose. Some of the districts have become role model for the entire country. Austrian British philosopher Karl Popper used to say, the future is wide open and depends on us, on all of us. So we decided to follow D model duty and determination to reach out to every individual in the UT with oximeter, medicines and vaccine. Our strong belief is that basic health services can also be delivered at people's doorstep. I have also worked upon a mechanism for greater connect between general public and policy makers. We built a platform for information sharing and grievance redressal. I went and asked citizens. They wanted to be heard. They wanted their everyday problems to be solved. From 10.30 in the morning to 11.30, I have initiated a three-tier system, dividing the constituents into three blocks where the senior most officials to the mid and junior level officers have to meet the public on a rotational basis. Due to pandemic, the interaction is taking place virtually. Cutting through the red tape from high-level problem solving to the smallest of issues, my aim is to help and enable the citizens of Jammu and Kashmir to assess governance and its institutions. To truly actualize the Prime Minister's vision of an inclusive and empowered nation, to inculcate a sense of pride and to take development all the way to the village well, I have launched the JK Gram Initiative. I hold the LG Mulakat once every month to directly connect with the people and resolve their grievances. The financial incentiv incentivization is done at panchayat level where we have now impacted over 20,000 young boys and girls from every panchayat, providing them financial assistance and hand-holding to become entrepreneurs. And let me tell you, 25% are girls. And this year, our target is to reach more than 50,000 young boys and girls. My dear young friends, in the last one year, our work has also focused on laying foundation stone for grassroots democracy, so that Jammu Kashmir moves ahead in a step towards a glorious future. Let me tell you that no growth is possible either in business or in governance without people's participation. For effective governance and delivery of public services, Jan Bhagidari is crucial. And as, as per my personal experience of Jammu Kashmir, I can tell you all that various policies, programs, and schemes can transform the villages if the government plays the role of a facilitator and people take up the job of planner and the executor. Secondly, the three-tier Panchayati Raj institution, Panchayats, Blocks, Development Council and District Development Council, which has been finally implemented 
in Jammu Kashmir after many decades will leverage central grants to promote people's participation. French philosopher Grabiel Markel used to say that on grassroots level a man can touch more than he can grasp. Today, I can proudly say that Jammu Kashmir witnessed first of its kind district capex budget that was drafted in collaboration with all three tiers of Panchayati Raj institutions and district officials. The ultimate success of any initiative depends on how aware and involved people are in execution of the scheme. That's why our new industrial scheme aims to take the industrialization attempt to the block level to transform the lives of local communities. Like the rest of the country, Jammu Kashmir has a predominantly young population with almost 67% of the population under the age of 35 years. To tap this vast talent pool, we are expanding programs and schemes that will ensure that every youth is engaged to build a modern Jammu Kashmir and modern India. It has also been my long pending desire to make youth a partner in transforming the future of Jammu and Kashmir. And today, I am glad to share with you a scheme named as the Lieutenant Governor's Sustainable Development Fellowship 2021, which has been conceptualized by the Department of Higher Education. The fellowship will give the youth an opportunity to be a part of the good governance system while the government benefits from their innovative, out-of-the-box ideas. The endeavor is to provide them a platform and involve them in designing, reviewing and monitoring government policies and programs. For me, it will be a pleasure to work with young motivated individuals, the leaders of tomorrow. We are charting a path of development for Jammu and Kashmir and wish to take advantage of fresh ideas for sustainable development. Towards the end of your study, we want you to work with us and carry the baton of development to the next generation.